Hey you folks, my name is Promise, and welcome to Solium Infernum, the strategy game from hell. I know we just released some content a couple of days ago, showing some of the single player content for the game, but now, as of February 22nd, the game has officially released, and the developers, the League of Geeks, have sponsored me to take a look at the game again today and show it off for you guys, specifically focused around multiplayer. Now this suits me just fine, because in my opinion, multiplayer is where this game is going to shine the most. Playing a game with your friends, making moves and counter moves, scheming, plotting, and backstabbing your way to victory? Oh, what could be better? So for this video, I have enticed both Angle and Alpha Dragon, two of the admins from the fan Discord server, to pit their wits against mine in hell. I actually tried to bring in a couple other admins as well, but either they're cowards or they have real lives to worry about. I'm not sure which it is. Anyway, this video is going to be a little bit weird in that it's partly focused on the gameplay and it's partly an after-action report with my own commentary explaining my thought process. Because for obvious reasons, I didn't feel like tipping my hand while talking to them live and explaining everything I was doing. That'd be a great way to lose the game. For this run, I played as Mamon, a demon who is devoured by greed and is very good at generating money and manipulating his opponents. Angle decided to play as Astaroth, the conquering dragon knight, and Alpha Dragon played as Beelzebub, a sorceress conquering bug lady. Ugh. <laughs> the patient's unspeakable hypocrite. What, Beelzebub? <laughs> No, 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 the game lobby's name is Disobedient Unspeakable Hypocrites. Oh, I love it. That's amazing. Look, if you want a video title, like, you got it right there. You're not wrong. <laughs> Disobedient Unspeakable Hypocrites. <laughs> the Dark Majesty has vanished, and the Conclave of Pandemonium howls for a replacement. I am joined by Alpha and Ango in the fields of hell to determine who will rule this dark land. Let the war begin. So taking stock of our situation, looks like I'm situated right next to Alpha, and then Angle's gonna be a little bit further away up to the northeast. With Ursa Bet, our only AI player, up to my northwest. We're all kinda crunched together. My first thought was, okay, I got two places of power very close by, I should try to get those early on, or at least prevent the other players from getting to them, because uh, I need that early prestige generation. Off we go. Hoo ha! Claim the Cantons! Angle, however, had other ideas, and given that he's playing as Astaroth, his armies are a little bit better situated for early aggression than mine are. So, Angle's gonna have a pretty good prestige bonus right up front. And from mm -hmm. turn two, that is impressive. And I have a second army, so I can very quickly start declaring walls, so... Mm -hmm. I'm just gonna attack stuff. I mean, it makes sense. As the Dragon Knight, that's kind of what you want to do. I feel like what I'm supposed to be good at is getting a lot of tribute, but you still need a lot of tribute to do anything. And of course he wasn't just gonna let me have anything of my own, no, no, no. You didn't think I'll just let you have it, did you? No. No, of course not. We're deviled. No mercy here. No, 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 of course not. Absolutely not. No, Angle's the only one who's got a clear sense of direction because he's got the army that can actually fight and win a lot of early places of power. Mm -hmm. yep. And because he's got so much melee, he's not going to take like any meaningful amount of damage. So he'll grab all mm -hmm. these. He's going to have a huge boost in uh, prestige early on. Which means I feel like you're probably not supposed to play this game in a way that contests him there. You're probably supposed to do something else. Like scheme or ritual your way to beating him. Like y You can't fight him on his turf. All right, I'm changing my strategy completely. I think it's too late in the game. I think I'm going to die as a result, and Angle's got a good shot here. We may have to consider finding ways to take him down, Alpha, but... Yeah. Um, I'm going to change my strategy up entirely and see if I can play to a different set of strengths, because I think I'm going about this the wrong way. I'm pretty sure your only chance against me is magic. Well... My unit's still going to have the only have 6 HP. Maybe. There's... there's Mammon has uh, one ability that he's really good at. And that is um, increasing tribute quality. I get more money faster than anyone else does. You're better in the long game. Well, maybe. I'm, I'm thinking, yeah, I'm probably very bad at the early game fights and stuff, but maybe anything that I can focus on where I spend money to rank up, whether that be at the bazaar or to get additional powers, rituals, whatever else, that's probably where I'm strongest. So I should be mm -hmm. focusing more on those. That is my assumption. 
So I know I'm just kind of musing aloud in front of Alpha and Angle here, but I do want to recap because I think this is a very important point if you haven't seen this game before. Every character, every Arch Fiend, has different strengths and weaknesses, and you should be playing to those as much as you can. The mistake I've made in these first few turns is I wanted to go for some early conquest, a high-risk, high-reward play to get the early prestige. But that's Angle's turf. He is better at that than I am. He is going to win that race. So I shouldn't even be trying to contest him there. What I should be doing is trying to generate more money as fast as I can, because then I can buy my way to victory and I can pay off anyone who's trying to be aggressive against me. In the early game, I'm going to be losing, but in the long run, this could pay off. And you're gonna see throughout this video, this was in fact the correct play. Why? Whoa! Whoa, plus five! Whoa ho ho! Okay, hold on, the AI just changed the game up a little bit. Okay. She did tell me she was gonna attack you, I just didn't- I didn't believe her. I didn't think she'd do it. Good job! Wow! Yeah, he isn't completely incompetent. No, 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 that was- that was smart! Surprising! Well, well done! I mean, now it's dead. Well, on this turn, unless it has something to really strengthen it up. Watch her, watch her use a... Oh, that's the thing. What if she did, like, um, a ritual or something where she could attack with Infernal first? She'd kill you, not the other way around. Yeah. All right, range phase goes first. Angle's gonna win, so the AI is gonna lose its army. It will reform, so that's not the end of things. Of course, this does still mean that I had a very dangerous early game to worry about, and Angle did the right thing. He made demands against me to try to force me to give up some of my tributes, and if I rejected him, then he'd have an excuse to go and take my land and kill my army. So that would be pretty difficult to recover from. So I did decide the easier thing to do early on, since I'm good at making money, is just to go ahead and pay him so he can't come and attack me for at least a few turns. Now the mistake that he made is he should have kept pressing those demands because if you give in like three times in a row, he can declare my weakness in front of the entire conclave and try to remove me from the game. That would have been bad. But fortunately, he didn't do that. Ooh, what did I, I've got something special I didn't know about. Ooh, what is this? I don't like that. Fortunately, there are some perks to going for a very heavy money build with a lot of charisma on my character, because this unlocks something kind of unique. The Back Room, a black market that only high charisma characters like myself can access, which means I've got more options for making powerful purchases than anyone else. Now, this lines up perfectly with my money build. That sounds like a hack. But like, it's not bad. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds very mammony. It does sound mammony, doesn't it? Mammony, mammony, mammony. The other thing I focused on very early on in this game is getting one of my skills, in this case Charisma, up to level 4 as quickly as I could, because I get an extra action per turn for doing that. So by turn 12, I've got 3 actions per turn. If both Angle and Alpha only have 2, then that's a huge advantage for me. Everything I'm focusing on right now is going for the long game. I'm going to lose the early fights, I'm going to lose the money, I'm going to appear weak and docile. But if I can win in the long game, it's all going to be worth it. Now, around turn 16, I got a little bit of a lucky break. Angle decided to attack Alpha and spread the pain out kind of equally between us. But Alpha had some tricks up her sleeve. They can't move, can they? Yep, you heard correct. Angle's units couldn't move. Why? Because Alpha, knowing she was about to be attacked, cast a hellish ritual that pinned his armies down so they couldn't move. And then she just kept casting that until eventually the Vendetta ran out and he lost. A brilliant move. Can you do that again? Do you want to bet on it? The funny thing is, she just has to keep doing it a little bit because you have a time limit to how long you can do anything to her. Yep. I think it's going to cost her a lot more than it's going to cost me. It might. Hey, Alpha, yeah. if you're able to keep him pinned down, I can actually do some serious damage to him in a minute. Okay. I can. Yeah, you can... forget I have another army. I do. I, I know where. I know it's there. Yeah, which do you have yet to move? No, no, it's moving. That while it. Are their rituals permanent? No, you have to pay their upkeep. But as long as you keep paying the upkeep, oh. yeah, they stick around. Yo, I'm gonna destroy you now, for right? Yeah. You're gonna get her. Probably, yeah. 
You're very angry with her. Understandably so. <laughs> this was my opportunity to really bring Angle down a couple of pegs. So while he yes. was stuck fighting Alpha and getting pretty peeved at her, I decided to go ahead and declare my own vendetta and snag one of his places of power. Hurts his prestige generation, fulfills a plot of my own, and now at least I'm on the board. I am annoyed, if I'm being honest. Would you like to help me uh, beat up Alpha? To make you feel better? No. No, no, no. <laughs> I'm kidding, Alpha, by the way. Just. Uh... So wait, did the vendetta between Alpha and Angle expire? Yep. Yep, it ended. I yep. won that. Wow. In all honesty, I more want to kill Alpha than I want to kill you. <laughs> well, I mean, hey, she's she's making a ploy on me right now. I mean, like, hey, if you want to take her down, she's literally got an empty back door right now. Why are you angry at me for playing to my own strengths? No, actually, it's really impressive you did that. That was a really cool trick. Like, that was, that was really interesting. So by this point, I'm only just now starting to claw myself back into a decent position. We're getting some of our prestige, enough that I could rank up to a marquee if I want to, which is not bad. Angle still has a slight advantage, but we're still fairly early in the game. In theory, there's supposed to only be 40 turns. So this could be considered the halfway point, but I'm just now starting to scale, and Angle's starting to fall off a little bit. It was also around this time that Alpha decided to start making some more demands against me, which of course I refused. But rather than declare a vendetta with a war goal like I'm used to, she asked for a Praetor duel, which neither of us had ever done before, so it was a bit of a crapshoot and a high-risk play. Clearly the different abilities, like, really matters, right? So, like... I have no idea. We're honestly. gonna find out, I guess. All right. Yeah, we're gonna find out. So for science! Yeah, I'm really curious. This this is a total toss-up. Alpha might beat me here in a war that I wasn't expecting, but because I have no idea how this works. It'll be interesting. We're gonna find out. This is either gonna go phenomenally well for me, or I'm going to get Absolutely obliterated. Absolutely terribly, yeah. Yeah, it's one of the two, and the same thing for you. Like, this is a huge roll of the dice. Yeah, I want to see how that works. I lost. You lost? Yep. All right, you were executed for your failure. Yep. So, whoa. How did I do 10? Uh, no idea, but honestly, probably the fact that he used the ball that counters the snake. Is that how that works? Uh, I I'm, I'm guessing here, yeah. So. Since apparently I'm very good at accidentally winning duels, I decided this is the point where I don't accept Angle's bullying anymore, and I'll start challenging him to a duel myself. Which, uh, it turns out is very strong when your opponent has no Praetors and can't afford any. Because then they just forfeit and you get their prestige. So, yeah, this was a bit of a turning point and Angle had a hard time recovering. I also got very lucky with an event card that gave me a great promotion for one of my units. This changes everything. <laughs> Probably just became a warm monger. No, 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 no. <laughs> well, uh, mm. Boom. Eat it. Wow, yeah. That's, um, yeah. That's what a double promotion does for you. And then I promptly yep. lost my powerful mm -hmm. army by getting cocky and bullying Ursa Betts and running headlong into a trap. Get wrecked, Ursa Bet. Lose that army. Frick you. Roar. Hear me roar. I'm hungry. Oh, did you, did you, did you want to keep this army as well, Ursa Bet? Well, too bad. Please no, don't she'll do some tell damage. She's got, she's got one health this time, but like, dude. Gotta admit, that 15 melee. Whoa, she's got 10 ranged? What? She's got Entrench. Oh, she got me. She wow. got a special ability. Brilliant. Wow, that, that was... Interesting. Even so, despite my very painful blunder, the game is finally starting to turn around really nicely for me. I've got two places of power, I've got a couple of items generating some extra prestige, and I've been able to bully Alpha and Urzabet around a little bit. Suddenly, I'm looking in a pretty strong position by turn 32. And now I'm winning finally, I think. No, you're not. I promises. Oh my god, how do you have 102 prestige? He attacked me. Well, I know who I'm gonna have to kill now. Yeah. You don't really. 
You can choose to, but you don't really have to do that. You really do. No, I really, really do. <laughs> you should whack him. Like, he's right next to no, you. No, no, no. He here's, why, here's, here's why it's not going to matter. Because I'm about to upgrade my rank and go back down to the bottom. I only just noticed, by the way, that some of these places of power have, like, special bonuses. I didn't even notice that. More strength and different powers and stuff. Better tributes. I only just noticed that. That's actually totally worth taking certain things. Yeah, some of them are actually decent. Yeah. Like, uh, the way I countered Alpha was actually an artifact, which makes them immune to magic. That's interesting. I still think I'm going to lose the game, by the way. I know people are like, Argh. I actually think that I'm going to no, lose. No, no, you've won, definitely. No, no, no. We've got, we got a few turns to go, and I think that Ursabet has something coming for me, and I don't know what. She's oh, at it's this. 59. Here it goes. Here it goes. Yep, she actually outmaneuvered me there. Yep, she totally got me there. So her vendetta will be something as simple as kill one army, which she will have done, which means she just sapped all my prestige. So I'm pretty sure I've lost. Yeah, I don't see how we can take it out of Travis. He has 122 prestige. Yeah. So there is a reason I'm doing really well right now. And it's because I spent a fair bit of time getting the materials I need to get two of my powers up to level four, which means I get four actions per turn right now. Mm -hmm. And it turns out that pays off pretty loverly. Yeah, hopefully it helps you in the three turns we have remaining. Yeah, I did, this is basically decided. Uh, I mean, all it takes all it takes is a couple of really big wagers that I fail, and it's over. Like. I really do think you could swing 60 prestige quickly. Maybe if all three of us installed you at once, okay? But you can really just accept all of them. That's oh, yeah, no, I, I have a very good way to even win duels. I'm not worried about that part. All I have to do is tie you up with duels for three turns, and I win. Yeah, I don't see if there's any way for us to come back from this. Yeah. Maybe. I mean, Alpha's certainly trying. Yeah, but failing. So, I'm curious what support does, because I've got an artifact I'm about to attach to one of my armies, which means that up to two tiles away I can provide support. Does I think that... that's like when you're next to someone, you can, uh... You can uh, lend them some strength? Is there... If is there they don't have the range melee infernal values. Really? Yeah, it's like reinforcement. Well, mm -hmm. geez, that's insanely good. Possible. Alpha, don't run from me. Where are you going? Get back here. <laughs> no! No. No. Stay here. Chase me. Okay. <laughs> Wait, no, not like that. <laughs> <laughs> it's looking good for me at this point, and we had chosen to go for a short game, which it says is only 40 turns, so in theory, right, no one can stop me now, right? Yeah, I really wish there was just some way for me to force a wall. Yeah, if, if other people are willing to just keep paying you, like, it's really hard to force anything there. So that's the lesson exactly. I'm learning here with Maman. I absolutely was right to pivot how I was playing the game, because I was trying to play your game angle, and that was not going to work. And I couldn't be the, uh, the spell person. But what I could do is focus on getting my power and my money generation up way up. And by doing that, I could just pay off everyone until I was in a position where I could start doing the bullying. Yep. Hey Alpha, damage it for as much prestige as possible if you want me to win. It might actually be a possibility. Either you got a Hail Mary that works or not. I don't know. Let's find out. It's going to deal a lot of damage to you, but it's not going to be anywhere near enough. Anyway, assembly of the Enclave. All right, we've assembled within the Great Halls of Pandemonium. All private schemes must now be revealed. This is where you guys could turn things around and have enough prestige. So... What do we reveal? Because now it's turn 41. What? What? I, I don't I don't know. Did it not end? No, it did not end. See, fun thing about Solium Infernum, it turns out even though you say, hey, I want a 40 turn game, what they really mean is 40 turns before the countdown begins and the Conclave decides on the Dark Majesty. Which all of a sudden means that Angle's got a few more precious turns to try and close the gap. And now the race is on. Wait, does this not end? Hold on, assembly phase one out of five. Are we still going until yep. it's over? Yep. Yeah. What? I thought I'd take him all out. All ah, right, try. Wait, hold on, not like that. Wait, hang on. <laughs> no, 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 wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. 
<laughs> I'm about to eat about 30 prestige from him. Wait, Damage him in every way, shape, and form you can. I, I, I've already sent, like, stuff. I, I'm trying. Was this really necessary? Yes. yes. <laughs> uh, everyone has declared war on me. Like, like, what Again, do you I don't expect? think we're going to do much, but we'll try. Yeah, so I'm going to lose the face in the sand. That's fine. A personalized note from Angle. All right, sure, I accept. Hilu. <laughs> yes, that sounds very Angleish. I just, how do we siphon your prestige away? Um, uh, you beat him. Places of power, and you win wars against me and stuff like that, probably. I'm catching up to promise. Slowly, My prestige energy is very high right now due to artifacts. I'm catching up. Mm. If you catch up, I'm gonna be mad because it means that this game actually <laughs> lied to me. Like, you can't just tell me 40 <laughs> turns and then not do that, you know what I mean? I plan my strategy around the fact that it's 40 turns. Yeah, Angle still, I think, has a chance of officially winning the game because he's got a lot of places of power. If you lose 30 prestige, I'll win, I believe. That's how much you gotta lose, approximately. That's doable. My brother take this one, too. Oh, you did not win. You lost your Oh, I must have got unlucky. Mm. Oh, you had a reduce damage thing again? Yeah, it's two to five and I rolled two twos. Ah, that'll do it. That's a shame. I needed that prestige. We're in the final phase. This is the final turn. Never mind. There's nothing uh, I can do. I think next turn might be the final one. I don't know if it ends on, on turn 50 or if it's the turn 50 is the last turn. It's one yeah. or two. We'll find out very soon. Dude, this game is fun. It actually is really legitimately good. Yes. great. This is a really awesome game of real strategy. No gimmicks, just legitimately putting one mind against another. Really cool. Mm -hmm. Yep. That's the thing. Like, it's it's a game that's not only about just intention, a very strong strategy. It's a game about deceit, right? Like, really, just screw with your enemies and lure them into situations where they're confident they can win, and then it turns out no, they cannot. It's brilliant. Legitimately brilliant. It is great. Uh, I could, I could, I could be really stupid right now and upgrade my rank and go down to 230 prestige just to see what would happen. Do, do you want to lose at the last second? It would be hilarious, wouldn't it? It, it? I mean, that's how you lose at the last second. But think of, think of the content. I mean, it would make good content. It would be content, yes. Throwing yourself at the temple of lust, are ye? Yeah. Well, my lusty maidens say nay unto ye. Understandable. Do not attack the temple of succubus and incubus. What are you thinking? <laughs> they know all your dirty well, secrets. I don't want to attack the temple, actually. Wow. That is hey. real good buffs. That is 17 infernal, dude. Yeah. I told you, don't mess with the succubus and the incubus. <laughs> 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 They'll get you every time. True. <laughs> All right, I need to learn this reinforcement mechanic because that actually does change everything. I can see that actually being very mm -hmm. useful in the future. There's so much I've learned just from playing this once. Mm -hmm. And I've Can still only explored like half of it. I still haven't messed with yeah. prophecies and stuff. All right, the Conclave has finally revealed the identity of the new dark majesty of hell. Tis Mammon! Hooray! And you're, you're my lieutenant, Angle. Hey, that's appropriate. Mm -hmm. Cool. Yeah. I, I've got I've got my right hand man as I uh, as I rule my realm as the new god of hell, Butimus. Dude, guys, this game is fun. I actually legitimately think this game is amazing. Thank you all very much for playing. I'm glad that ended up working out. Hope you guys had fun too. Oh, I had a great time. Yeah, it was fun. Really, really fun game. And a huge thank you to both Alpha and Angle for being good sports and playing through the semi-blind. None of us really knew what we were doing, but that honestly kind of made it more fun as we figured out dirty tricks we could play on each other and had no idea how to counter it. And of course, a huge thank you to League of Geeks for sponsoring today's video and getting me the early access so I could play this with my friends. Very much appreciated. If you guys want to learn more, there will be a link in the description down below, and I would encourage you to click on that because I think that Solium Infernum might be one of the most legit strategy games I have played in a very long time. Otherwise, I would ask you to hit that like button, leave a comment, subscribe, make sure you hit that notify bell, and I will see you guys next time.